really possible that California Governor Gavin Newsom might survive his recall? It sounds like a bad dream, but some new data suggests the wind may be at his back right now. California is opening up, COVID is down, and there's a budget surplus. Newsom is riding those highs to help fundraise and make his case to Democrats that he deserves to stay in power. At the same time, the state facing a massive homeless crisis growing worse by the day. Many California students have missed a year and a half of in-person learning. Not to mention, countless businesses have closed for good because of the pandemic. So what happens if California voters don't boot the guy who's caused all these crises? Joining me now, KFIM 640 Los Angeles radio host, Brian Suits. Wait, is that Nick Offerman or is that Brian Suits? I can't tell anymore. <laughs> Brian Suits. Oh, okay, great. Welcome to the show, Brian. <laughs> Wonderful. So, Brian, let us discuss. I was in California over the weekend, and uh, every neighborhood you go through, every intersection you come to, every overpass has more and more tents. And now they're doing a bunch of feasibility studies in Los Angeles where they're putting tent cities in parking lots where kids attend summer camps. And they're uh, largely unsupervised, except for their new homeless friends who will be patrolling the beaches. That's fun. Um, yeah, that's literally the plan. That's the overflow plan, because there's so many homeless that they're going to take uh, pretty high-end earners who actual, uh, actually pay taxes in the county and the state. They're going to rob them of their parking lots at, at really high-end beaches, or, well, or as what other people call beaches, and they're going to put tents in there and, and this is because literally on every boardwalk venice beach santa monica huntington beach whatever they're they're literally overflowing with illegal tents there so they have a, they need a place to put those tents uh, you know so they'll be taking your parking spots they'll be taking your state revenue for parking at the beach away and they'll be putting tents in parking lots for real yes and one of these tent encampments costs twenty six hundred dollars per month per tent, and taxpayers get to pay that, which is a really great plan. Newsom really hasn't done anything about homelessness. It continues to explode, even though he and L.A. Mayor, soon to be Indian Ambassador Eric Garcetti, uh, throw billions of dollars at the problem. But what they're doing is just incentivizing more people to come to the beach, because they're like, oh, wait, I'm stuck in this crappy inland ha hamlet? I'm going to go out to uh, Pacific Palisades and tent up for free there. I get three hots and a cot, get some social services, porta potty, showers. Sounds good. Um, uh, and, and, and you know what? If, if you illegally erect a tent in the middle of Manhattan or Columbus, Ohio, or Normal Town, USA, the, that's probable cause. The police will probably like arrest you in junk. In Los Angeles City and Los Angeles County, the LAPD and LA Sheriff's Department, they need a search warrant to look in your tent. There's, I, I helped look for a kid, a missing 13 year old from Medford, Oregon, Friday last, right? Um, because LAPD told his parents, uh, his grandma, that they can't search tents without a search warrant. A illegally erected tent on public land, middle of a park, middle of a beach, they can't search it without a search warrant. So obviously, if the little things are tolerated, then the, the, the big things are encouraged. And it's an industry, by the way. It, they're not ending homelessness. It, they, they require it. It's a, it's a revenue stream. It's a government revenue stream. So why isn't Newsom in more trouble here? Because he bribed us. He, we have a state surplus, and the Constitution said they have, they have to give it back to the actual taxpayers. He's packaging it as a, uh, as a refund, a stimulus. It's not. He has to give it back to us. Um, he's bribing everybody. He's basically saying, you know, not the face, um, you know, check out the hair. <laughs> not in the face. And the whole thing. He's, he, not, the, uh, not the face. Flatten the curve. Not the face. Here's your money. Here's the thing. He's going to, uh, he's going to survive. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. Yeah. Don't, he's, he's going to survive this. Here's what sucks. I know. He's Gray going Davis, to survive this. Gray Davis and, is know, rolling in his grave, and he's not even, he's not even dead yet. And Newsom's. I know he's just being sized for it. And, and by the way, 
This will, this is like the mummy. This is like the mummy too. He'll survive the recall mm -hmm. and he will be nationally viable. Oh, so when God. President Kamala is looking around for a vice president, she'll point to the mummy and he'll say, I'm here. I survived a recall. I have the solution. I'm Gavin. <laughs> Crazy. Hey, America, welcome to California. Yeah. Here's my piano key teeth. It's so handsome. They'll never throw me out. I'm going to do four more terms. Brian Suits, thank you so much. Always good that's, to talk to that's you. That's right. <laughs> Flatten the curve. <laughs>